FIFA 22 is only two months away and it actually could work out less than two months if you were looking to pay a bit extra by getting the ultimate edition, the 10 hours early access or by hopping onto the web app when it is released. Whichever type of edition or extra stuff you're looking to get with FIFA 22, it's still not that far away. And in the meantime, there's actually a few things that we can do to prepare. Whenever a new game is about to release, no matter the game company, in most cases, there's actually not too much that you can do. You can put your pre-order in and that's about it. Everything else that can give you a slight advantage in the game is only available on the day of that release. But with FIFA, it's always been different. There's actually a lot that you can do right now where you can benefit from it later. And this is exactly what we're going to be going through in today's video. Before I do get into the video though, if you enjoy the content here and want to see a bit more from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. We upload videos every single week giving the latest tips in FIFA 21, but we are now moving over to FIFA 22. So if you do want to keep up to date, then make sure you are following the channel. Getting back into the video, 99% of everything you've done in Foot 21 will not move over to FIFA 22. The teams you've managed to put together, the players you're trading with, the coins you've managed to build up over this last year, all of this will start fresh as soon as the new Ultimate Team is released. Pretty much everything that you value currently in Foot 21 will not carry over. There is a very small 1% of things that do carry over. And even though that 1% isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things, we can actually spend our time between now and the release of FIFA for us to actually work on that 1% so that we can reap the benefits when the game is released late September, beginning of October. So the first thing that you can do right now is make multiple accounts on FIFA 21 so that when FIFA 22 comes out, you can reap the benefits by having multiple accounts in FIFA 22, all of them giving you loyalty packs and all of them potentially giving you access to the web app. This is actually something that I've been doing for the whole month of July. I even posted a video telling you exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing. It. For the whole of FIFA 21, I've only had one account. This was my Xbox account and this is where I've been giving you the latest trading methods. But for FIFA 22, I really want to go and mix things up a bit. I want to have multiple accounts all having multiple different things. I want to have one account which is trading where I show you the latest trading methods, but I'm also thinking about having some trading series, some road to glories, some pack accounts where all I do is open packs and go through SBCs. There's a lot of stuff that I'm planning here for this channel and it helps if I have multiple accounts. Accounts. Now for most of you guys watching this video, you don't actually care about creating content, but you can still do the exact same thing to benefit you by having more coins. At the beginning of every single ultimate team, there's loads of different ways in which EA helps you get things started. You have different types of loyalty packs available, you have login bonuses on the web app, you have your different SBCs that you can go through. Some, if you do correctly, will always give you profit, such as the League and Nation Hybrid, the Hybrid Leagues, and the Hybrid Nations. In most cases, if you do just have your one account and go through all of this content, you could do pretty well for coins. But if you take the time now to create multiple accounts and do all of this two times, three times, four times, depending on how many accounts you have, get the loyalty packs, get the login bonuses, go through the SBCs, you're very easily doubling, tripling, quadrupling the amount of coins you could potentially be making. If you really wanted to, you can then move that all over to one account. Now, this might not sound like a big thing, but having more coins at the beginning of any ultimate team is crazy good. The more coins you have at the beginning, the more players you can invest in. And once FIFA is actually officially released, that's when players will go up in price and you can make even more coins. If you start ultimate team correctly, you can actually set yourself up for the whole year. It just becomes a domino effect because now you have even more coins at the start means that you can build a better team and have a better chance within competitive game modes such as division rivals or foot champions and then that follows by giving you even bigger and better rewards so i definitely advise making multiple accounts the second way that you can prepare is for the fifa point transfer now as things currently stand ea haven't confirmed this as of yet but they do normally confirm it sometime august or in september and they have confirmed it every single year previous to this but you're able to put FIFA points onto the current FIFA and you're allowed a one-time transfer to the next FIFA that has just been released. So in this situation, you should be able to stack up on as many FIFA points as you want in FIFA 21 and come FIFA 22 when you actually get onto the game, you'll get a notification that pops up asking you if you want to transfer all your FIFA points from FIFA 21 all the way to FIFA 22. This is where you'll say yes and then everything gets moved across. 
for most players there's actually no benefit into this unless you're a player such as a content creator a pro player looking to go and compete within esports or you're someone that is a big fanatic of ultimate team and you always want to get the biggest and best players there is a way for you to get ultimate team early but there is a limited amount of game time that you're allowed to have we will talk a bit more in depth about this just in a second but the reason that the FIFA point transfer actually benefits players in this area is because if you do have a limited amount of time on the next FIFA and you can get it early, you do not want to be wasting your time trying to load up on thousands and hundreds of thousands of FIFA points. It's better to do it all now on FIFA 21 and then have just a couple seconds where you agree to a FIFA point transfer and then the rest of the time can be spent playing the game, opening packs and doing whatever it is you want to do. This is more about efficiency for those of you who like the put a lot of money into ultimate team to further benefit from this we move on to the next point this is having a subscription to ea play for the month of september and this benefits you in a couple different ways the first way is that you can have discounted fifa points instead of having to pay the full price you can get 10 percent off it doesn't sound like a crazy amount but it starts to equal a decent amount of money especially if you are putting hundreds or even thousands of pounds into the game the second way that this benefits you is you do get access to the game early if you want to. If you buy the standard edition for FIFA 22, it releases on the 1st of October. If you buy the ultimate edition, it releases four days earlier on the 27th of September. But if you have a subscription to EA Play, you'll get 10 hours of early gameplay on the 22nd of September. How you split those hours up is entirely up to you. You can play all 10 hours on the 22nd of September, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is two hours a day up until the 27th and that's when I get my ultimate edition but no matter how you split this up you get early access to the game and you're able to do whatever it is you want to do in those 10 hours if you want to play pro clubs volta career mode or ultimate team you can do whatever it is you want to do for those of you looking to play ultimate team this is big because when everyone else won't be having access to the web app you have access to the game the game where you're able to play matches and earn coins where no one else on the web app is able to do that so if you have the money you could be very smart and buy a subscription for one month with ea play this will give you a discount on fifa points and you can load up on fifa points ready for the one-time transfer when fifa 22 is released to further add to this if you've timed this correctly you can also get early access to fifa 22 on the 22nd of september giving you 10 hours of gameplay to any of the game modes you want to go through the other benefit that you have from ea play and this also takes us on to our fourth and final point is to get a discounted version of fifa 22. just as ea play gives you a discount on fifa points it also gives you a discount on all ea games including new releases such as fifa 22. you can go over to your store and as long as you have a subscription to ea play you can get a 10 percent discount this is for your ultimate edition or your standard edition so if you're very smart with your timing you can get a subscription to EA Play, you can get 10% off FIFA 22, you can get a discount on all the FIFA points that you buy, and you can get early access to FIFA 22 on the 22nd of September. To add to all of this, if you really want to, you can even go over to your Microsoft account, go into your subscriptions and cancel your EA Play subscription where you'll get a full refund. It is only £3.99 and if you did buy FIFA 21 stack up on FIFA points then you're probably in a good position financially where you do not need this £3.99. The option is there if you really want it. If you really can't be bothered to go through all of this and you just want to get the Ultimate Edition discounted by 10%, you could always just go onto FIFA 21, go over to the main menu, and there on your screen bottom right, you'll see a button which tells you you can get 10% off the Ultimate Edition for FIFA 22. You just buy it through the menu, you'll get your 10% discount. Unfortunately, this is only for the Ultimate Edition and not Standard Edition. But I guess this is better than paying the full price. But anyway guys, these are four different ways in which you can benefit from FIFA 22 before FIFA 22 is even released. We talked about making multiple different accounts where you can reap the benefits from once FIFA 22 is released. That way you can get different types of loyalty packs, different types of daily login bonuses, complete different types of SBCs, all of which will be flooding coins into your accounts. And at the end of everything, you can move all of those coins over to your main accounts where you can then invest into play and really hit ultimate team running we also looked at the fifa point transfer as every single year ea do this where you're able to transfer fifa points from the previous fifa to the newly released fifa we expect a similar thing this year around 
To add to this, you can get FIFA points discounted with EA Play, which also gives you a discount on buying FIFA 22 and you can get it much earlier. And finally, we did go over other ways in which you can get discounted versions of FIFA 22. We spoke about EA Play, but you can also buy the Ultimate Edition by going through the menu. If you have any questions about anything that we've covered in this video, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.